In this video, we demonstrate the Ysoft SafeQ Administrator steps for creating an automated scan workflow that delivers digital documents to Microsoft OneDrive. There are four steps to create a secure connection between Ysoft SafeQ and Microsoft OneDrive when using the Azure portal. Create an application in Azure. Configure the Azure application. Configure Ysoft SafeQ and define automated scan workflow. Please note, if you have already created a connection between Ysoft SafeQ and Microsoft SharePoint Online, you can skip steps one to three as the settings needed from Azure and the digital certificates implementation are common for both. These steps are also described in the Configuring and Deployment of Office 365 Application for SharePoint Online and OneDrive Business chapter of the Ysoft SafeQ Administrative Guide. Before we start, there are three prerequisites needed. Microsoft 365 Administrative Account and Password, an X.509 security certification with its private key. If you don't have any valid company certificate, you can generate a self-issued certificate. Follow the Generating a Self-Issued Certificate section of the Administrative Guide and Ysoft SafeQ6 with Core Workflows. Check to make sure you have Ysoft SafeQ6 installed with the Core Workflows module. Let's get started with Step 1, Creating an Application in the Azure Portal. Log in to the Microsoft Azure Portal using your company's Office 365 Administrative Account. Communication between Ysoft SafeQ and Microsoft Azure uses an Azure Active Directory application which we will now create. Select Azure Active Directory and then App Registrations. Now select New Application Registration. Name your new application. For example, Ysoft SafeQ Managed Workflows. Don't change the application type. It should be Web App forward slash API. Enter your company's web page address. It is a mandatory field, but not used. We are done, so select Create. In step two, we are going to configure the new Azure application. In case you already closed the application window, you can reopen it at any time. Use the menu, Azure Active Directory, App Registrations, and click on the View All Applications button. Find your application in the list and click on it. Now we are back at our application and can open the Settings window to configure it. Click on the Settings icon. Because there might be different defaults in your Azure environment, we must first check one important value. In the Properties window, make sure Multi-Tenanted is set to No. If needed, change it to No and click on the Save button. The first permissions configuration is to set up the application's permissions. In the Settings window, select Required Permissions. The Required Permissions window already contains one delegated permission for Windows Azure Active Directory. Select it, and at the top section, Application Permissions, select the Read Directory Data checkbox. Click on the Save button. The next permissions configuration is to add permissions for the Graph API. Click on the Add button in the Required Permissions window. Click on the Select an API button, highlight Microsoft Graph, and click on the Select button. In the Enable Access Microsoft Graph window in the top section, Application Permissions, select the checkbox at Read All Users Full Profiles. Confirm this addition by clicking on the Select button and then click on the Done button. The last permissions configuration is to add permissions for the Office 365 SharePoint Online API. Click on the Add button in the Required Permissions window. Click on the Select an API button Highlight Office 365 SharePoint Online and click on the Select button. The Enable Access Office 365 SharePoint Online window in the top section, Application Permissions. Select the checkbox at the Read and Write Items in All Site Collections. Confirm the addition by clicking the Select button and then click on the Done button. In the Required Permissions window, click on the Grant Permissions button. When asked for confirmation, select Yes. We are now finished with Permissions settings. Now, we are going to upload the public key in our Azure Active Directory application. In the Settings window, select Keys. In the Keys window, click on the Upload Public Key button and browse the .cer file. Confirm Upload by clicking on the Choose button and wait for a confirmation window. Then, click on the Save button. We now have what we need from the Azure portal. It is helpful to note the important values so we don't need to refer to the portal again. Copy and paste into Note or Notepad these values from the Properties window. The Application ID,
the main parts of the app ID URL. From the keys window, the thumbprint, Now we can close the Microsoft Azure portal window. In step 3, we are going to configure the Ysoft Safe Queue. It includes installing the security certificate in the operating system and entering the certificate's thumbprint in the Ysoft Safe Queue management interface. Now we are going to upload the digital certificate in the operating system of the server, where the Ysoft Safe Queue workflow processing system service is installed. Log in to Ysoft SafeQ as an administrator and check that the Ysoft SafeQ Workflow Processing System service is installed. Browse to locate the certificate and double-click on the .pfx file. The installation starts. Change the store location to Local Machine and click on the Next button. Confirm the file name with the Next button. Enter the certificate's password and click Next. Choose the Personal Folder option. Click Next. Confirm installation via the Finish and OK buttons. You can check the newly installed certificate in the personal folder of the CertLM.msc system application. Repeat this step on every server where the Ysoft SafeQ Workflow Processing System service is installed. Now we are going to enter the certificate's thumbprint in the SharePoint Client Certificate Thumbprint System property into Ysoft SafeQ via the management interface. Log in to the Ysoft SafeQ management interface as a SafeQ administrator. Open the System Configuration window. Use Search to find the thumbprint. Open your notes and copy the thumbprint value in the field. Click on the Save Changes button. Confirm the new value by clicking on the Save Changes button. All of the configurations between Azure and SafeQ are completed, and we are now ready to create automated scan workflows connected to Microsoft OneDrive. As a demonstration, we are going to create one workflow for Microsoft OneDrive using John Doe as the person who will use the workflow. In the Ysoft SafeQ management interface, go to the Scan Workflows connectors menu and click on the Add Connector button. Assign a name and write a description. We'll call this one PDP Notes Connector. Choose Microsoft OneDrive for Business as the connector type. From your notes, copy the tenant name and client ID. The domain is taken from the tenant name. Save your changes. Return to the Scan Workflows Workflows menu and click on the Add Workflow button. Assign a name and enter a description. Choose the PDP Notes Connector. The target OneDrive path is the user account name. Copy and paste it from the OneDrive's page. To be more flexible, we can replace the variable part of the username with a system variable. For instance, with the username, which has in our installation the name.surname format. The additional path can be seen on the OneDrive's page. Select the output format, name of the scanned file, and assign the user access to this workflow. Save your changes. Scan workflows are automatically available at all multifunction devices. Only the workflows that a user has been granted access to will appear when the user authenticates. The OneDrive folder is currently empty. Let's test our scan workflow.
the scanned document is now stored in the PDP folder of OneDrive. You have now learned how to obtain the Azure Cloud content needed for creating SafeQ workflows for Microsoft OneDrive and have learned how to create connectors and workflows in YSoft SafeQ. Thank you and have a nice day.